Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome to King Worldwide. Today we're talking about you. God is looking for you. God is looking for you and me. God is looking for his children who he can show himself to and be a blessing to. This today's message is coming from 2 Chronicles 16, 9. But right now we're going to just start off with these notes. So God is looking for you. Since the beginning, he's been looking for people who by faith and obedience would allow him to bless them right here on earth. He's always looking for people who will allow him to demonstrate his power on our behalf. He's looking for people who supernaturally, whose supernaturally abundant lives would make us a walking advertisement of his mercy and his power. Think about the children of Israel when he um, sent Moses to rescue them and walk them out of Egypt. It's in Exodus 3, 8. They had marvelous things. He prepared such a prosperous land flowing with milk and honey. Think about Mary. When the Lord called Mary to be the, the mother of Jesus, the Messiah, Think about what was planned for her. God is always looking for a people who will obey him and then partake of what he has already planned for us. Second Chronicles 16, 9. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose hearts are blameless towards him. So what happened to those scenarios where we talked about the Israelites and then the mother Mary? The Israelites, let me go back up. God did the choosing for both. So it says, God looks to and fro throughout the whole earth to see who he can bless. We talk about this all the time. It is not about our performance. It is about our hearts and are we surrendered and yielded? And are we learning how to think like God thinks, speak like God speaks? And the way that Jesus walked on this earth with the Holy Spirit, we can do that. So God did the choosing. God set up the marvelous plans for both the children of the, um, Israel and Mary. God had total victory and abundance for both. This is just the example and for us too. Only one of the two in the example I've just left experienced the abundance of God. Mary is the one because she believed she said, when the angel appeared to her, that she was with child, she said, be it unto me, Lord, as you would have. Right? Well, what did the Israelites do? It's the same thing. They were called out. They were chosen. They were given abundance. They were um, rained down. Rain, manna was rained down for them. Water was there for them. But they didn't appreciate what was right in front of them. They kept complaining. And they kept focusing on the old mindsets. This kept this, them in bondage. They didn't experience what God had planned for them. So let's think about our lives. We're all called and chosen. God made us. One, we have to, if we want to experience this abundant life in every area, relationships, health and healing, wealth and finances, socially, etc., we need to understand that God has set this up for us. However, it is not like we, in the natural, it's not like anything we've seen. It's not being the best in your sales job. It's not necessarily being the best in school. That doesn't mean we're not the best. What it means is when we follow God's plan in obedience, he's already set it up for us. All we do is say, like Mary did, be it unto God me according to your word according to your will lord then we obey even when it seems hard and follow the voice of the lord and stay in belief and trust it's unbelief that stopped the israelites from experiencing the land flowing with milk and honey it's always unbelief that prevents the children of god from experiencing the blessings the blessing of God is in and upon us when we've accepted Jesus. It is our job to renew our minds to the word of God and start blocking the ways 
of the world and how everybody else thinks and separate ourselves unto the Lord. If we're watching TV, unless it is word of the Lord programming, it's going to pull us back because it's infiltrated with the ways of the world. It might be good stories and it might be um, positive outcomes, but most of the time there is a curse associated with everything on television. So these are just little things. If we're spending lots of time with our coworkers outside of work or even at work, it's, it's determining how we're living our lives. Separating unto the Lord is like Mary. Her and Joseph and Jesus separated. It's like Joseph. He separated. It's like um, Daniel. He separated. David separated. It's not about being perfect and it's not about performance. It's about, are we separate unto God? Because God has the best for us. And this is this message in King Worldwide Ministries is to pronounce the good news. And that if God showed Jesus how to do it, then he showed me how to do it. And we just walk it out. And you can too. Okay, have a great weekend.